Hey guys, AJ Hazzy here and welcome back to the Vantage West Realty video blog. I'm going to be answering some of your questions. I had sent out an email last night requesting uh, some questions that were on your mind and for the next few videos I am going to be uh, going through those questions. I got dozens and dozens of great questions from you guys and so I'm going to work through them one by one. So without th further ado, here is the first question. Yuri asks, so you offer to buy my house if it doesn't sell in 29 days. How do you set the price? Is it going to make me lose money? Great question. Our 29 day sale guarantee starts with an appraisal. We price the home at appraised value, which means that when we combine our marketing plan and the right price right from the get go, we are confident we can sell it in 29 days. So thanks, Yuri. Next one there. What is the state of the market? Amy asks. We're six years from the 2008 crash and yet prices have not returned to the 2007 levels. Well, all you have to really do is think about the market cycle. So from 2008, to 2012, we know we were in a recession. So this is called the slump period of the market cycle. In the end of 2012 to where we are now, we've been in what's called the recovery phase. Following the recovery is a boom. Now during that back half of the recovery, you start to see that incremental price increase. So we saw five or 6% last year. We'll probably see six or 7% in 2015, which means that by the tail end of 2015, we'll be entering into our boom phase. So will we see 2007 pricing? Absolutely, probably look to the end of 2015 or even the spring of 2016 to see prices on par with where they were in 2007. And lastly, a question on a lot of people's minds is about mortgage interest rates. And uh, as you guys know, interest rates have been at all time lows for the last couple of years. And so the question is, is there an industry wide consensus on how much longer they'll remain uh, this low? So thanks, Ron, for that question. Uh, as you know, the Bank of Canada meets every couple of months to discuss the interest rates. In fact, they meet eight times a year. The next meeting is December the 3rd, and uh, it's possible that they could raise the interest rates at that time. I mean, the, the economy seems to be doing pretty well, but, uh, and that's what they do. They wait to see the economic indicators show that it's safe to raise the interest rates. Uh, so let's talk about what that would mean if they did raise it, probably it would be a quarter point. So on an average home where you have a, you know, on a $400,000 home where you have an 80% mortgage, uh, going from 3% to 3.25% would change your payment by roughly $40. So is that going to hurt? Well, for people that are on a fixed term, no, they won't feel that. But for people who are looking to buy a home, it affects their affordability. So how much so? $10,000. So it means that if you're looking at a house for $400 and they raise the, the rates from 3 to 3.25, you can suddenly only afford $390. So that's how you'll feel it. And uh, over time, sure, interest rates have to go up, but they will go up as the economy improves over time. So people will be making more money is how the, the whole relationship works. So hope you guys found that helpful. I got lots more great questions to share with you guys over the next uh, coming weeks. And uh, as always, please don't hesitate to reach out. You can get a home evaluation. You can uh, surf the MLS for listings. And by all means, fire away any additional questions and we'll, we'll keep the ball rolling. Thanks for tuning in and uh, bye for now.